fingers crossed we don't come across any wasps in here because that's why I couldn't film before in here. It is so incredibly sweaty in here, but I don't want to turn on the fan because I don't want it to be loud. Hi guys! So I'm going to be moving into medical school in three days and I'm super, super excited. I thought it would be smart to pre-film this video since once I'm in medical school, I'm probably not going to have a ton of time to film. So without further ado, I wanted to do another video in the interview series today. So this time I wanted to talk about two different questions. So the first question is, why did you choose our school or why do you want to go to our school? And the second question, kind of, it's not really a question, but it's the statement, do you have any other questions? And this might be applicable to some interviews and it might not. So I just wanted to talk a little bit about things you can say at the end of your interview to help you. All right, so let's start with why our school. The first thing I recommend you do is you comb their website and find something on their website that really speaks to your application. For example, if your application was really strong in research information, then go online to their research programs and check out programs that you think you might be interested in. Another thing you might want to consider is if you know somebody at the school already. If you know someone at the school, ask them what they really like about the school. And then in your interview, you can bring up that personal connection. Along those same lines, do you know a physician who went to the school that you're applying to and that really inspired you? This is a little bit more applicable if the school is near where you live or where you work or where you grew up, but it's another thing to keep in consideration. Another thing to consider is if you're interested in association with like a big research hospital. Um, some schools have them and some schools don't, so if that's something that's really attractive to you, I would mention that. At the end of the day, you want to make sure that whatever you say relates back to your application in some way. You don't want it to just come out of the blue, or you don't want it to seem like you just picked something random off their website. So this is what I said when I was asked that question. I talked about the fact that I actually knew some students at the school already and that those students praised the school for its collaborative community. When I was an undergrad, I struggled really, really hard to learn on my own and I only started doing well when I became a part of the pre-med community. So having this community of people who are really hardworking and supportive is something that was really important to me when looking at medical schools. And this is one of the reasons why I applied to this school in particular. I didn't think I would perform well in a school that was very cutthroat. I also discussed that the school's physicians have a pretty large influence in the community where I grew up, which I've mentioned in videos before, but a lot of the physicians in my community come from this school. So that's what I said when I was asked why our school. And there are tons of different answers. You just need to find the one that fits you and fits your application. Next, I wanna get into what will probably be the last thing that they ask you in your interview. And that is, do you have any other questions or would you like to add anything? Some schools allow time at the end of your interview for questions that you wanna ask the administration. And some schools actually don't allow you to do this because they think that it puts pressure on the students to find the perfect interview question that will make them look good. In reality, it's just an opportunity to get to know more about the program that you couldn't find online somewhere. So all of the interviews I went to didn't allow me to ask questions, but I do have a couple questions that I probably would have asked if I had been given the opportunity. So the first question I probably would have asked is if they have a typical location for most of their clinical rotations, excluding away rotations. And this is just for my personal interest so that I can figure out where I'm gonna be in three to four years. I would probably also ask what they thought the best aspect of their school was, especially if I didn't have a contact already at that school, a student that I could talk to and learn things from. Ask things that you're really interested in. In general, you kind of want to use this question and answer opportunity to give the school a chance to sell itself. Because you as an applicant do have to sell yourself, but at the end of the day, they want you to pick their school if you're accepted. So they need to do a little bit of work and sell themselves as well. So like I said before, all of my interviews didn't allow me to ask questions at the end. And that's to reduce that pressure of having to ask the perfect question. If I had questions, I asked them to the first and second years who were giving us our tours. However, the interviews did give me an opportunity to talk about anything else that I wanted to mention that either wasn't on my application or wasn't touched in the interview. 
So I used this time to talk about what I had done during my gap year, and that included volunteering, scribing, doing research, taking an extra course, an improved MCAT score, and I also talked about the fact that because the school is relatively close to my hometown, I would have a good support system nearby when medical school inevitably becomes really hard. I wanted them to know that I was reapplying to their program again this year, and that showed that I was dedicated to this school in particular. I also noticed that one of the interviewers at the school that I was accepted to was also my interviewer the previous year when I applied the first time. So I made sure to say things like, oh, it's really good to see you again. I'm really glad to have this opportunity once again, just so that they could pick up on the fact and they really understood the fact that I was reapplying to the school after being waitlisted and rejected and that I was extremely dedicated to the school in particular. Yeah, so those are my suggestions on answering the questions, why our school? and the end question of do you have any questions or is there anything else you would like to add. Hopefully by the time I post this video, I will already have started medical school orientation. All right guys, thanks for watching, bye-bye.